Hello, I'm L.K. Nanda, District Secretary of Florida Department of Transportation, District 1. Welcome to the public hearing for the district's tentative five-year work program for fiscal years 2019 to 2023, covering projects developed by District 1 and Florida's Turnpike Enterprise. FDOT District 1 covers 12 counties extending from Collier at the south to Polk County. Welcome to our hearing and thank you for taking the time to participate. Our mission is to provide a safe transportation system that ensures the mobility of people and goods, enhances economic prosperity, and preserves the quality of our environment and communities. The Florida Department of Transportation District 1 is pleased to present information about our tentative five-year work program for fiscal years 2019 to 2023 in this e-public hearing format. In a moment, you will view a brief presentation about how the work program is developed and the types of projects for which FDOT is responsible. Since this is an e-public hearing, instructions on how to provide your comments about the work program will be provided at the end of our presentation. Florida Department of Transportation staff at District 1 continually work with our other transportation partners, including local, state, and regional governments and agencies, counties, cities, as well as our port, airport, and transit providers to identify and develop priority projects. We plan the future of our transportation corridors to meet the growing mobility demand for people and freight, and also to provide solutions and alternative options for existing congested corridors. We strive to maintain our transportation system at levels our residents, businesses, and visitors are accustomed to and expect. Additionally, development of the work program is also guided by two strategic documents, the Florida Transportation Plan and the Strategic Intermodal System Plan both of which focus on Florida's future transportation network by preserving existing infrastructure and improving transportation choices, which contribute to Florida's economic competitiveness. The tentative five-year work program for fiscal years 2019 through 2023 requires an update to projects already programmed in the first four years before new projects can be scheduled for the new fifth year. Projects in the work program include highway, bridge, aviation, seaport, rail, transit, multi-use trail, sidewalk, and bicycle facilities. FDOT is also at the forefront of automated vehicles and are preparing our roadways to be as efficient and safe as possible for the age of driverless cars. Speaking of technology, FDOT uses advanced equipment and tools to monitor and assist with improving traffic congestion, traffic signals to provide real-time information to our road users, and improve the movement of freight and goods. The work program process is complete each year once Florida's legislature approves the tentative work program in the spring and it is adopted by the State Secretary of Transportation by July 1st. Funding for these projects come from federal, state, and local sources such as taxes, fees, and tolls. Funds are then allocated to each of FDOT's seven districts per legislative requirements based on population amounts, funds collected, and safety and needs assessments. Tolls collected by a given agency stay within that agency. In the next five years, District 1 anticipates an investment of over $2.8 billion on our transportation system, while Florida's Turnpike Enterprise anticipates spending about $169.5 million for projects in Okeechobee and Polk Counties. Projects in the work program meet Florida's priorities of safety, preservation, and maintenance, and we have delivered. Recently, the district opened the Interstate 75 at University Parkway Interchange in Sarasota, which drastically improved congestion at the exit. This interchange, known as I Diverging Diamond Interchange, is the largest of its kind in the country and first in Florida. FDOT continues to offer innovative solutions to address our state's transportation demands. Continuing on our successes, FDOT is planning on upgrading I-75 interchanges at US 301, Colonial Boulevard, Collier Boulevard, Fruitville Road, Clark Road, and Bee Ridge Road. We are widening dozens of miles of roadways, installing miles of bike lanes and sidewalks, a new rail bridge over I-4, and improving intersections across the district. The work program also funds FDOT's planning for our future by providing for studies like the Barrier Island Study which is looking at ways to improve transportation on the barrier islands of Manatee and Sarasota counties. 
We are improving safety while balancing the needs of all road users by introducing the Complete Streets concept, which will help us provide more context-sensitive roads by putting the right street in the right place. We have also been implementing modern roundabouts, which have been proven across the United States to reduce crashes, save lives, and slow traffic, among other community benefits. A complete list of projects organized by county in the new tentative five-year work program and interactive maps of the projects can be viewed by reviewing information on this page. Copies of the tentative work programs for District 1's 12 counties and Florida's Turnpike Enterprise projects in District 1 are available at FDOT offices in Bartow and Fort Myers. We encourage your comments regarding the District 1 and Turnpike tentative five-year work programs. You can provide them by clicking on the comments button on this website or you can print the comment sheet, write your comments, and mail them to the address at the bottom of the sheet. Submit your comments online or mail the comment sheet to us by November 20th, 2017. Thank you for attending and watching the work program ePublic Hearing about the FDOT District 1 and Florida Turnpike Enterprise tentative five-year work program for fiscal years 2019 to 2023. And now, a word from our lawyers. This public hearing is held in compliance with Section 339.135 Florida Statutes and the Civil Rights Act of 1964 and related statutes. Public participation is solicited without regard to race, color, national origin, age, sex, religion, disability, or family status. People who feel they have been discriminated against because of race, color, religion, sex, age, national origin, disability, or family status can complete a form also found on this website and mail it to us or they can contact the district's Title VI coordinator, Jamie Schley, at 800-292-3368. The FDOT is conducting this hearing consistent with the Americans with Disabilities Act of 1990 and advertised it consistent with state requirements. Thank you again for your interest and for participating in our e-public hearing about the FDOT District 1 and Florida Turnpike Enterprise tentative five-year work program for fiscal years 2019 through 2023. We look forward to receiving your comments and please be safe on Florida's roads. Thank you.